student at the Education in the Knowledge Society PhD program. And I'm going to present uh, my dissertation project, which is entitled the Artificial Neural Networks Application in Computer Aided Diagnosis, System Design and Use as an Educational Tool. I will follow the usual index and as no the other communications. Uh, first of all, I will define computer aided detection and diagnosis, which are computer algorithms which serve uh, the medical specialists or the radiologists as a, a second opinion when they are making their diagnosis. There are two types of, of software, CAD software. One is specialized in lesion detection, and the other one is specialized in classification or making diagnosis. This kind of software has been applied to a lot of radiological image modalities from computer tomography to magnetic resonance imaging or from mammography, for example. Why, uh, what is the, uh, the motive of this dissertation? Well, radiologists now, nowadays in hospitals have a huge amount of workload because there are lots of high technology equipment. Uh, radiological studies have hundreds and hundreds of images and they have to search uh, through all of that to find the pathologies. Well, uh, there has been found, in, and there, are, there is a lot of research about this topic, that uh, CAD software can assist, assist radiologists in detection and diagnosis. It also help, helps to improve uh, the sensitivity and the specificity, and it also helps to reduce the inter-observer variability, the variability in the diagnosis among the different uh, professions. This kind of software has also a great potential for medical specialist training. Uh, all, uh, I refer to medicine students and also radiology residency programs. Well, I, I will focus in my dissertation in artificial intelligence systems called artificial neural networks. They have uh, lots of applications like handwritten character recognition person face recognition, but they have been also widely applied in, in medicine and in radiology. Uh, they are called this way because they, they resemble the, the behavior of, of, uh, of neurons. Uh, the neurons in, in this system are arranged in a series of layers who are interconnected among them. Traditional CAT uh, systems were based in the knowledge of, of experts, of radiologists. Uh, they analyzed the images and they uh, did a contouring of the lesion. Information was extracted from that contouring and then a mathematical algorithm, a classifier, was used to uh, classify all the information they, they made. Nowadays, a new kind of systems are uh, starting to, to, be, to be used. These systems are called neural networks based in deep learning, deep learning methods or convolutional neural networks. The main advantage of this system is that they work directly with the image pixel, with the image data. They don't need the knowledge of radiologists or, or experts in the, in the subject. By scanning or analyzing the images, they are able to get all the uh, interesting features to, to make the, the diagnosis. Well, they have, I will skip this part because uh, I think I, I won't have enough time. They have been applied, for example, in, in mammography. It, mam uh, anal anal analyzing mammography images is a very difficult, uh, very difficult task. Uh, radiologists need years of, of training, but with this kind of systems, for example, in mass classification in mammography, uh, some investigators like Arevalo pues, have gotten a system with a high level of, of accuracy in mass lesion classification. Also, for example, in pulmonary node classification, the uh, state of these state of the art systems have achieved a high rate of classification accuracy. The, there are systems that are not only specific for one location, like mammography or pulmonary node but can be applied to, to different uh, pathologies. Also in uh, colonography, CT studio, uh, studies or for detection of, of metastasis. 
the, inter uh, the interesting or the more interesting part in relation with, with education is that the some investigators have made systems that can be applied for uh, education of radiology trainees. For example, they have built individually adaptive computerized educational, educational system. They provide a series of cases or tests to the radiology residents. They build a computer model based on their annotations. And based on that, they present the cases to enhance learning based on the and previous annotations of the, of the residents. And they have all these systems have also been used uh, for uh, detecting the locations where it's more likely that the resident will make a false positive uh, detection in, in a model. Well, talking about my dissertation, uh, I will divide it in, in two stages. The first one will consist in the creation and the development of a CAD system for radiological image analysis. The hypothesis I would like to test is that the system I will develop is a useful, a useful tool for assisting radiologists and the system sensitivity and specificity and the number of false positives it will detect will remain among the published results. On the second stage, I will address the system validation in two ways. On the first stage, in clinical use by medical specialists and an educational validation. Uh, I will uh, try to verify these two uh, hypotheses. But the first one is that this software produces positive effects in the analysis and diagnosis of radiological images. And the second one is that uh, this system is a useful and complementary educational tool for medicine students learning to interpret medical images and also for, for radiology trainees. Well, the, so the main objective of the thesis is uh, the development and validation of the system. Uh, I am going to try to make it extensible to several image modalities and pathologies and I will incorporate the uh, tools to access and classify the cat generated information. I will be consuming this. Uh, well, these are, these are the specific objects. Uh, I will revise uh, all the uh, bibliography. I will develop a neural network, uh, a neural network from, from training with images. For that, I will need to download public medical image databases. There are lots in, in, the, in the internet. They are available for research. Like there are uh, several for, ma for mammography, for computer tomography, for thorax radiography. The software I will use for developing the, the networks is MATLAB with a, a tool called MathConnect, which is designed specifically for programming convolutional neural networks. I will also uh, use the language programming Python and Fiano which is a library for using uh, artificial neural networks. Uh, and the second stage uh, consists, well, as, I, as I told before, in the use of the software by medical specialists. Previously, they will receive uh, training for using the, the software and study the influence of the software on, the, on their performance. The other part will consist in analyzing the influence of the software during the uh, training uh, process of radiology residents and medicine students. Uh, well, these are the, the tasks performed so far, including bibliographic review, installation of the software, and download and classification of, of all the images in the, in the data set. And I am now in the initial design step of the CAD application. In the future, uh, we look forward to implement educational tools in the software and perform uh, the validation in, in clinical and educational practice. Thank you very much.